Hello! Today's Pokemon review is on Glaceon. This is the Battle figure made by Jazzwares slash Wicked Cool Toys and this figure is articulated. The Battle figures in the UK all used to retail for $6.99 but with this wave the price has gone up to $7.99. Now on the back we see some of the other figures released alongside the Glaceon including Leafeon which I've already done a review on so go and check that out. Next up I am going to be reviewing the Bolton so if you don't want to miss out on that make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I will be opening some Pokemon TCG packs. So I'm really happy that they released this articulated Glaceon figure because Glaceon was one of the figures that Tommy never released alongside the Leafeon figure. So now we've got both the Leafeon and the Glaceon which means that we get a chance to get a full lineup of articulated evolution figures. Paintwork wise, the paint job on this Glaceon figure is really bad. I ordered the figure online so that meant I didn't get a chance to choose which one I got. And you can see straight away the eyes are not painted within the lines and there's some sort of glue residue on the hairpiece. If we look down the hairpiece you can also see how sloppy the paint job is on this side and then moving on to the other side you can see again the paint is not within the lines where it should be. Sculpt wise I really like how the ears turned out and then this hairpiece is made out of a more softer malleable plastic and my favourite part about the sculpt is the tail. I really like how the tail has turned out on this figure. 5 points of articulation on Glaceon, each of the legs are on a swivel joint. This is how far forward the front leg goes and it goes about this far back. Here's the range of movement you get on the back leg. Moving on to the second back leg you basically get the same amount of movement as the first one and you get the same amount of movement on the front leg as you did with the first one as well. Now if you stretch out all four of the legs you can get the Glaceon to lie down on all fours. The head is on a half ball joint and you get an up and down movement so this is the range you get up and down and then you can tilt it from side to side as well so it goes from one side to the other side and you can also spin it around a full 360 degrees. Height wise Glaceon stands at just over 2.5 inches to the top of the head and around 3 inches to the top of the ears and then around 3.5 inches to the top of the tail and the length of the figure comes in at 2.5 inches. Let's do some size comparisons. First up we have Jazzwares own Eevee figure, Glyphion, Umbreon and Espeon all of which scale very nicely alongside the Glaceon and then we have Flareon, Vaporeon and Jolteon all of which seem slightly smaller in terms of scale. Here's Glaceon alongside the epic battle figure Venusaur, Figma Lily, Moncol Pikachu and the Dynamax version. Then we have Red from Pokemon Scale World and finally Gengar from the Battle Feature Figure series. So guys that was my review of the Glaceon Battle Figure by Jazzwares. Overall I'm really happy with the way the Glaceon looks. Obviously not so happy about the paint job on this particular figure but I'm pretty sure you can get a Glaceon with a better paint job than this one. 
I would highly recommend you pick this Glaceon figure up, especially if you want to complete a full lineup of articulated evolution figures. Here's Glaceon alongside all the other evolution figures released by Jazzwares, and you can see they all look very nice alongside each other. The only evolution we're missing now is Sylveon. And I do believe Jazzwares will be releasing Sylveon sometime in the future. And as soon as that figure comes out, I will be doing a review on it. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when the video gets uploaded. Hello, so today we are opening another four Pokemon Evolving Skies packs. Hopefully we can pull an Eevee this time. On an evolution, I mean. Chase cards in this are all those alternate artwork cards. I really want the, for me, the VMAX. Um, here's your code card. For me, I really want that VMAX alternate Umbreon card. That will be the pull I want the most. I know that Rayquaza is the most expensive card in the set, the alternate artwork. So you got Energy, Switching Cups, Baldor, Ursa Ring, Nickit, Dwebble, Tentacool, Tentacool, Cryogonal, Seismitoad, Reverse Hollow, and a Reggie Draco Hollow. Pack number two. Here's your code card. Do four from the back. You have Fighting Energy, Raihan, Bergmite. Chinchow, Gossifleur, Pumpkaboo, Dino, Toycatcher, Teddy Ursa, Gordy Reverse Hollow, and a Sharpedo Reverse Hollow. Boo, nothing there at all. Pack number three. So here's your code card. We do the card trick. Lightning energy. Crustle. Moon and Sun badge. Carvana. Lotad. Hopip. Hitmonchan. Fletchling. Ooh, nice Pikachu. I didn't know that was in this set. Floet, Reverse Hollow, and a Gorgeist, rare. Last pack, Umbreon, give me that Umbreon pull. Here's your code card. I mean, I wouldn't even mind an Umbreon V pull right now. Rescue Carrier, Scrafty, Toycatcher, Flababy, Rog and Roller, Swablu, Crystal Cave, Litleo, Apple to Oh wow! Appleton Weather and an Umbreon V. I mean I got the card trick all wrong there and everything. But we pulled Umbreon V. That's really really nice card. Why I really one is the alternate art uh, Umbreon V. No, not the alternate art. Well, I want the alternate as well, but I also... my The card I think is the most beautiful in this set is the Umbreon V Full Art. So that's the card I'm after, but this will do for now. Let's leave him. So guys, from this pack, the only pull was Umbreon V. Until next time, bye. If you liked that video, hit the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more Pokemon toy reviews, 
hit that subscribe button now. Now go back and watch all my other videos and I will see you all next time. Bye.